Well, all right. So this is my indie lab, the tater tosser. <laughs> I built a potato again. The tater tosser. Uh -oh. PowerPoint. You have to drag that thing over there and then click that. This is no Google Slides. Intro. All right. Here we go. So my purpose was to test how the changing of like PSI, it, I like built an air powered potato gun, so the change in PSI would affect the distance it traveled, so that's pretty easy. But then the, also the kinetic energy, how the differences have changed from the different PSI. And then I, so my hypothesis was if I increase the PSI, then the potato will obviously travel, travel farther and the energy will be increased. And so the stuff, the ish used is I used just PVC pipe and like contact cement to hold it together and then a potato and then I used duct tape. And the duct tape was used for, I'll, I'll explain when I get to that again, it'll be easier. Oh, background is pretty short background, but then the next is the math. So a lot of my data, <laughs> well, a lot of my, my data came from the math. It was pretty simple, just using the old classic kinematic equation there. And so it took me a while to figure out that like I was getting really big numbers because when I first measured it, I used feet. So I kept getting really, really big numbers. I was like, there's no way that thing went like 2,000 miles per hour. So, <laughs> so I was like, oh wait, I have to, like, cause the, then, yeah, the initial like thing for 40 PSI was 106 feet. So yeah, multiplying that by like 18 was a really big number. But so when I divided it by 3.28 to get meters, that's what it is. So as as um, I increase the PSI from 40 to 50 to 60, the, the velocities changed like when they increased, and same with the kinetic energy, as you can see. And the, oh, I hear you. Here's my. <laughs> so here's the diagram. So here's the potato, the duct tape, the duct tape I used to get the closest thing to a perfect seal as possible inside the barrel because the tighter the seal the better it will travel the more air like will be able to get pushed better and so this thing here we have i have like a weird pump it's like an air compressor so that's what that was and then here's like a little bike pump that we cut out of a tire and then drill the hole so it's and then so here's like the air chamber that held all the air here's like this big circle we valve thing that you turn the thing and it releases there and that's the barrel and then the, it would shoot out and so and here are my graphs I, it was hard to figure out how to put them on the thing without using like smart i mean they're not very interesting graphs oh they open up open shoot well they open when like it's normal like when it's not in presentation form but they're really not you that can take us out with escape I mean, they're not very interesting. I just took the average of like the three trials, well, the three trials, but the three PSI. So I mean, there's just, like three points. It's not very interesting. But, like, if you insist. <laughs> if they're set up as a local link, then they probably won't work. And they might work. <laughs> Did you email me also those files, those .cmbls? Maybe it's embedded. Maybe you don't need to. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, but yeah, like if they're not very interesting. It's just three points. How it, there's no really correlation either. So it's just obviously one dot here, one dot here, and one dot all the way there. Oh, there we go. That looks like a heck of a correlation. Well, obviously. Like, hey. <laughs> so that is the psi and then distance in meters, and then so we'll close this out. And then we go back to the kinetic energy graph, which looks very similar. So, so that's the kinetic energy graph. All right. This is a hard life we have. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, these are the videos. This is all right. This is the fun part. This is the fun part, guys. Yeah. Oh, this is oh. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So this is 
I don't remember which trial of which PSI this was. It's just I've had a bunch of videos of them, so it wouldn't be no sense to show all of them. So we decides to load. We'll get to watch the Tater Tosser next. <laughs> Did it shoot off already? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it did shoot. Okay, we'll do it again. Do you want audio too? Oh, wait, yeah. Can we get audio? Yeah, you can get audio. This amplifier is behind you. Just click power. There we go. Do it again. Do it again? Yeah, and again. <laughs> Twice One more. more time after that. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Who's that you're firing on? Uh, Me. that's Anna. She was, <laughs> she was the med, and Hannah was filming it because it would be really hard to film it and shoot at the same time. So I needed help. So, yeah. I hope you have a credit slide at the end. No, but I just gave him credits. All right. Okay. <laughs> Alright, for one more time for just... Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Harry didn't see it. Harry didn't hear it. Alright, thank All right. you. So, the next yeah. video is just from the side. So it's nothing different. It's nothing different. Okay. Alright, so my sources of air... There is definitely a lot of sources of air because I was outside and like the seal wouldn't always I used I tried to use like the same potato for every single one to get it the same to the, the best fit and so I constantly kept wrapping it in tape to re like re seal it or just give it the best seal possible and then so it wasn't exactly the same every time and then the wind was definitely a factor because it would be hard to not have wind it just happens because it's outside but I persevered and then along with the wind there's air resistance which is another thing I can't control unless I'm outside <laughs> and, then, and then the angle that I was holding it at I was doing my best to hold it around 50 to 45 degrees but it was it would be really hard to get it exactly on the same angle every time but I mean all the, the trials and everything they were all relatively the same so I don't think that was too big of a factor but it still was one and then Alright, so I was correct with my hypothesis that the PSI, the increase in the PSI would increase my kinetic energy and my velocities, well, not velocity, but my distances. And then my experience, like I, like I said before, had a lot of air due to things I really couldn't control. Um, and like things I would do better is try to find a potato or some other projectile that would fit very well down the barrel. Like, if I had more time, or if I knew how to, I'd make like a sabot, like how they did with like real cannons. They put like the cannonball in like a thing, so it would just fly out the barrel. But I didn't know how to. Um, and then this, also just having a potato gun, just gives me a bunch of other ideas for different labs, because that the possibilities are endless with a potato gun. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it.